let's get started then. My name is Debbie Harper, and I'm going to introduce myself to you in, in just a minute. But before I do, I just want to run through what the agenda is today. So we'll just spend some brief time introducing, we'll go through the learning objectives, then we'll do a refresher on what ICH GCP is all about and what influenced the changes to the most recent version. Then we'll cover a brief overview of what the changes are comprised of and then really get into the detail of, of each change. And then we'll close with some key messages and then review our learning objectives. So there's quite a lot to get through today, but I hope, I know it can be a particularly dry subject, and I hope that I can make it as interesting as possible for all of you. So the training will be interactive. There'll be lots of opportunities for you to type questions. I'll be using the interactions within the web system to get your feedback on an ongoing basis. And there'll be some various knowledge checks that you'll be required to answer throughout the training, just so that I can confirm that you've understood everything that we're, we're going to go through today. So just a little bit more information about me. So my name's Debbie Harper. I'm based in the UK, and I've been in the industry since 1996, and I've worked for large pharmaceutical companies as well as CROs, as well as a small biotech spin-out. So lots of different experience in operations as well as in training. So I work closely with Barnett on helping them to develop and deliver gold standard project management and clinical research related training courses, including this update training to ICH GCP. So I have lots of operational experience, running trials, as well as being a leader in, in organizations. I have my project management professional, and I'm also an MCC ambassador. And those of you who don't know MCC, they're the Metrics Champion Consortium that provide industry-wide standards for establishing and implementing metrics across our operations. So at the end of the training, what you will be able to do is explain the rationale for the addendum. Why, why did it come about in the first place? Describe new terms or updated terms that have been implemented in what is called E6R2, and I'll explain more detail behind the, the name later on. You'll be able to identify the different individual changes that comprise the addendum. And then finally, recognize the importance and the impact of the changes, not only for sponsors and CROs, but also for investigators as well. So just take a few seconds just to note down any personal objectives that you may have in addition to this. And if any of you want to type those into the chat box, you're welcome to as well. So let's just refresh on what ICH GCP is all about. I'm sure most of you are completely familiar with the guideline, but the first version of ICH GCP was released in 1996, and it was called Efficacy Topic 6, which is the ICH Efficacy Topic 6 E6 R1, and was replaced or superseded by E6 version 2, which is R2, revision 2 in 2016. And we follow ICH GCP when we generate data intended for regulations, but also we apply to other clinical investigations that may have impact on safety and well-being of, of human subjects. And just to remind you all, GCP is an international ethical and scientific quality standard for designing, conducting, recording, and reporting trials that involve the participation of human subjects. And by complying with ICH GCP, we provide public assurance that the rights, safety, and well-being of subjects are protected and that are consistent with the principles of within the origin of the Declaration of Health Thinky and that the data that we generate are credible. And just to clarify during the training, I'm not, like I've done for this slide, I'm not going to be reading out bullet by bullet, but I think what's important is that we all start from the same refreshing information about ICH GCP, so we have the baseline information. 